Hi everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Replay. I'm Tim Curry, joined by Dan Reichert. Hey! we got Andrew Reiner with us. Hey man! And Ben Hansen is at the helm doing the, the editing stuff. He's our technical <laughs> guy. I know you wanted to know that. Uh, this week we're going to be handling Sonic Adventure because this game's near and dear to a lot of readers' hearts. I, I feel that it's important to me. It may not be my favorite Sonic game of all time, but... Isn't this- it actually the one that really started the downward... Spiral? You could say that. Ooh, yeah. Nicely put, I just by did the say way. that. Yeah, m- much like much like the spiral intro of the Dreamcast console itself, that, this yeah. one was not 2D, it was downward, uh, because it, they started introducing Big the Cat and well some done. other stupid characters. and Amy? Amy was in the Sega CD one, though, wasn't she? Wasn't she? Yeah, she was. Okay. Yeah, but she was flushed there out is. here. They really, they really dived into her character. Listen, <laughs> listen to this music for a moment. Vocative of Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yeah. Now, Dan, Dan, you're at the controls. Why don't you go ahead and skip in and, and see what? if we can... All right, fine. Yeah. I was... This was... This game actually blew me away when I first saw it. I remember going into a Funko Land the summer before Dreamcast came out and seeing that first level with the whale and everything. Oh, hell yeah. And just... Then, I mean, we were working with PlayStation 1 and 64 and everything, and it blew my mind how crisp it looks. This is, it wasn't even HD or anything. It, it just looks so good. It still looks really good. There's no, like, jagged polygons, really. Yeah, it's a lot better than PlayStation, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. No doubt about it at all. Like, this looks great. Every time we boot up an old Dreamcast game, I'm always reminded about how fanatical people can be about the Dreamcast still and how it's still, like, the best console. And I always look at those people as fanboys, but then we boot it up again. I'm like, this was really, really... Boot up. Soul really Calibur good. came out in 99, over 10 years ago, and it still looks great and plays great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The thing that blew my mind about this game is how much I didn't like it. Uh, you didn't like it? No, not at all. Maybe it's because me and Tim were dumb teenagers when it came out. Yep, that's you were it. a grizzled vet. Yeah, it looks point. great. I like the direction they went in, but there's, like, no gameplay to it. I felt I felt like I was just pressing, the direct, like, one direction <laughs> Pretty much for right. far too long in levels and then hitting jump. And then when you're not just doing that, it just doesn't even really work. Like, when you're trying to do the levels of the hammer and stuff. And yeah, like, and the other characters, like, yeah, playing as awful. the robot with the guided missiles and Big the Cat. It was awful. Yep, yep. So we're playing the Japanese version, obviously. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're checking out the Japanese version. Um, Ryan, are you, I'm sure you had some experience, as you did with previews back in the day, having to play a lot of imports. What did you what did you think of this when you were playing it in Japanese? Yeah, we would we would import pretty much all the launch games for any system. We still do that. Uh, so we had Godzilla, which I hope to do one day as a replay because it was god awful. Like I remember it back in the day, being like, I don't know about this machine. Right. Uh, but Sonic, everybody was impressed with, like I said, how ambitious it was and how different it was. They tried to do that kind of Mario sixty four reinvent the character thing, but. I, you know, within 15 minutes or 20 minutes of playing this, I was not impressed. Well, then they try to do, like, the hub world thing, and, like, they did not do it nearly as well as Mario 64 did. Yeah, the game was originally, in, when it was being developed, was Sonic RPG. Uh, so I think maybe they had much bigger plans for that open world oh, area. Okay. Uh, and it ended up being an adventure game and aptly, aptly named Sonic Adventure. You know, there's a, there's a part of me that wishes that this game had been... This was pretty well received at the time, and, you know, I'm happy to see Sega have success, but at the same time, I almost wish that this would have fallen on its face critically so they wouldn't have been trying to perfect this formula yeah. for the next, you know, decade. Like, yep. Sonic Colors is still the same crap. Um, then you have a guy like Dan being blown away by it. Hey. Bought two copies. I, I bought hey, one. you love Sonic Colors. I, I have not played that game. Let's let's uh, let's take a moment to appreciate the uh, the shimmer of those police cars. Look how big the shadows of those raindrops are. <laughs> that's actually where Shadow the Hedgehog came from. Really, he was a raindrop. Raindrop shadows. <laughs> oh, that's true. You don't know. That's true. You you would know more than me. So okay. who is this guy, Tim? That this, we're trying to fight. This guy is. I think he's like chaos or something. It's a chaos creature, dude. He's. I I don't remember the. The extended lore, but I know that he morphs and he's the consist- persistent enemy. He turns into a giant whale creature that looks a lot like Sin from Final Fantasy X. Yeah, we saw him coming out of the beginning yep. in that introductory cutscene. Uh, but he's a stupid enemy, and this is when they really started pushing for Dr. Eggman instead of Dr. Yeah, Robotnik. I do not like that. Which is a dumb choice. And that was his original name in Japan? Yeah. That looks like one of the blobs in Fester's Quest that you shoot and it splits. Yeah, Sorry, Fester's just... Quest, Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Wow. I, I, own, I, own the Fester, I actually own two copies of Fester's Quest. I'm not kidding. Well, I mean, what, backup copy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just in case L.A. Noir craps out on you or something. And is this the first game where he had green eyes, or did that happen before? Yeah, this was his redesign with the green stupid eyes and his, <laughs> his uh, skinnier self. Oh, that's a pretty good voice actor for pretty much just what I expected. And of course, it's the Doctor, OG of, of voice actors for him. The OG, mm. yeah. He didn't have any like samples in his uh, Mean Bean Machine or anything? You know, he might have. You know what was weird about Mean Bean Machine was it was the Robotnik from the cartoon, the the weekly cartoon, not like the other one. And they had like all the all the cartoon robots, like the monkey and like the grounder, the robot. What is with those eyelashes? <laughs> That's terrifying. Well, you know, he needs those long lashes to attract uh, his female friend in Sonic Adventure 2007. I think that was the 07 one, right, where he gets a, a female friend. Where they just call it Sonic the Hedgehog, like it's a big reboot, but yep. it's just the same crap. All caps yeah. for, the, for the name of the game. Yeah. Yeah, he sounds like I'd imagine. Go oh, running by the pool. <laughs> Don't tell that to Sonic. <laughs> I remember going around trying to talk to everyone. That's going to be really enlightening now. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's about the same as it was when I played it before. That is actually how any story attributed to a Sonic game registers in my mind. Just unrecognizable characters. <laughs> yeah. Somebody runs into you, takes some shiny things, flies away in a thing. All right, you gotta go help <laughs> Here Tails go. wake up, I there's, guess. There's robot things later. <laughs> yeah, and just this hover thing is just way too easy. Like... Oh, you don't, you don't like the boost? No, I've never liked that move. Oh, you're really raking on the game all of a sudden that you just said I, that you loved. I didn't say I love it. I liked it a lot. It back blew then. my mind, to quote you. The, the visuals did blow my mind. When that oh. whale came out, I about myself. It looked so, so, so what good. What just happened to that bunny? Bunny? Yeah, there was Rings? a bunny floating in a bubble after you killed that robot. Yeah, got it. How do this you is, spin I, dash? I feel like one. this is the, the level that anyone thinks of when uh, you mention Sonic Adventure. Oh, yeah, yeah. And like, it's the only level anybody played. Yeah. yeah. It became available on XBLA, uh, you know, a few months ago, and I got it. And I was like, sweet, okay, like, I haven't played this in forever. We'll see how it holds up. And I played through this, and I was like, okay, this all seems really familiar. And then you get to the next part, and it's like, oh, wow, I totally forgot how bad all this the stuff is. The game has not aged <laughs> well at all. <laughs> no. Like, not even, not even remotely. And like we were saying before, is like, that's sad because the formula for 3D Sonic games has not yes. changed much. This part. This part's amazing. Watch, when it cuts to, like, you see Sonic's face and that whale jump behind you. It looks so cool back then. Right here. Yes. There you go. Uh, and wh how much? How many buttons are you pressing? Up. Oh, right. <laughs> that many. <laughs> I wonder if you'd even... Can I just let go? Oh, yeah, well, not yeah. now. Okay. I wonder if I could have just done that without even moving. Hurry. There we go. Yeah, I, I recently played through like Sonic 1, 2, 3, and Sonic and Knuckles. I, have still I didn't fun. complete them. My hope was to play through all of them, all the way through. Uh, but just but going back, hell? like the uh, original Sonic wasn't about the speed so much. Nope. There was some really clever and creative like platforming in yeah. it. Yeah. Well, it was marketed on the speed. Well, yeah, you know, blast processing. Yeah. It was, uh, they needed oh, uh, well, to push seamless. that forward. But yeah, no, Sonic games primarily. The Sonic 1 through Sonic Knuckles were all about platforming with like you, bursts of speed were your reward for memorizing the level and becoming, you know, familiar with all the, the ramps and, and where the jumps are. And yeah, yeah, certain Sonic players to a, at a certain point can play Green Hill Zone with like their eyes closed, but. Can you? I can't yet. I don't. I'm working on it. Hey, Tim, what is your favorite Sonic game? Oh, uh, it's. Oh. That's pretty easy. I'd say it's. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, when you combine them together, those are probably, probably the most complete Sonic experience. He's picking two games. He's cheating. No, they were, and, uh, they were here, here comes his thing. Here comes his nerd Sonic knowledge he always uses. Oh, I write at Game Informer, Dan. <laughs> I, get to, I get to know this. I know. He, uh, <laughs> I just like making fun of you for it. It was originally... You gotta turn the table sometimes on the replay. You gotta take the heat off you. <laughs> um, it was originally developed as Sonic 3 and Knuckles were all one game. And they got split up because the game got too big. And that's why they work together so well and unlock things ah. for each other. It was fun. I, I think my favorite is Sonic 1. Uh, really? Just because I put so much time into it. Yeah? Oh, 2 was mine for sure. Did you get all the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 1? Yes, I did. Yep. Really? That's yep, not Back easy. in the day. No, no. I, I tried doing it again like as I was playing through it on Xbox Live. And oh my god, it's so tough. 
Yeah, I haven't downloaded the Xbox Live uh, versions of those games yet, but I'm tempted. I mean, they play just the same. I got all of them and played through them all, I think, last year. It was still really fun. I mean, we all probably own, like, Sonic 1 through Sonic & Knuckles, like, three separate times between, like, all the Genesis collections and that have been coming out for, uh... There's PS2. Like, every generation, I feel, has had a collection of Sega games. Yeah. And I keep buying them. I don't, I yep. don't know what my problem is. Yeah, I, I do, too. I see it on Xbox Live Arcade, and it's like... It's discounted. It's only like five bucks now. Yeah. It's like, mm-hmm. I'm buying all of them. I'll get Gunstar Heroes for the 16th time. Yeah. <laughs> One time for every bit. <laughs> <laughs> look at those dolphins. That was Echo. cool. Look at how they introduced that. It's just tail sitting next to like smoldering metal <laughs> and it just it just popped up out of nowhere. Like, I don't... They're trying to deliver a story in this game. He was on a bender. It's okay. It's okay. You got a C, Dan. Well, that's the Japanese letter for A. I've never been in Japan. Really? I, I've never been in Japan. I just assume that's how they it works. They don't have letters. Uh, Station Square. Back to the square. So many fond memories of this place. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot like visiting um, Azeroth for the first time. <laughs> Stormwind Castle. Now, couldn't you unlock powers here? Uh, uh, I, don't, I, I don't recall. I kind of... Hmm, maybe for the other characters or something? Like... Somebody yeah. got some stupid jump boot or something. I think yeah, the stupid I... robot cat got stupid jump boots. You say robot cat? Robot cat. No, he's not a robot cat. He's Look a... at the way he talks. That's <laughs> crazy. He's a cat who also happens to be a fisherman. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's a real cat. Yeah. But there's a robot involved at some point. Yeah. There's e- a playable one, robot. E-102 Gamma. Oh, that's right. Catchy name. Really rolls off the tongue. <laughs> So, if I'm remembering correctly, this is when Tails proposes to Sonic finally um, yep. and presents that stone, which was handed down through his generation of of uh, his Fox family. Uh, it's an heirloom. Um, I thought Sonic that was rejects his, him. I thought that was his two months gem for sobriety. He was oh. showing Sonic because Sonic was a sponsor. Yeah, and but it, it tied in. He offered it as as a as a proposal. Okay. Uh, and then the rest of the game is a metaphor for Sonic running away from his true feelings about Tails. <laughs> I like playing it this way. <laughs> yeah, catch the first train out of there. That's what the Japanese said, Dan. Getting Sonic in an elevator. Just what I always <laughs> wanted. Him to wait to be slowly transferred to another area. <laughs> what? Is this the KO area? Yep. Oh. Now, KO I, or Chow? I call them Chows. Well, they're not... Chaos emeralds. So I guess I never. I guess I always just kind of used my brain when I decided how to say that. I guess I never connected that. Sure. What did you say, Dan? I, I don't. Remember. You had to have said Cheo, Mister Cheo Peakman, and and uh, I might have. Dude, Ode- get Odecon? the hell out of here. We don't want to race these guys. What am I doing? Exactly. Get out of here. You have I to don't get, know. You don't have any any Ko eggs anyway, though. Is this okay? I don't know. You're looking at me name. weird because I. Ryan's giving me a weird look because I said Ko. I'll. Chow? I've said Chow for like 10 years, so yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think weird. I did say but Chow. But you might be right. I'm pretty sure I said Chow. Did you say it to Yuji Naka's face and he like nodded approvingly? That's when he walked away. Yeah, oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Is that why he stopped making these games? What's that? What's that glowy bit? Looks like something I need. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, those, those are his repressed memories. Uh, you have to run from those. <laughs> oh, no. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, <laughs> take the elevator. <laughs> His childhood's chasing Sonic him. would totally take the stairs is the weird thing there. He'd, He'd dive out a window. You think so? Yeah. Yeah. Jump right. onto like, like a Bruce, falcon and fly like away. John McClane. <laughs> John McClane. White tank that. Sonic Adventure 2 is when he takes down German terrorists, right? No, that's the airport one where he stabs a guy in the eye with an icicle. Sorry, I always get him <laughs> screwed up. Is that yeah, the, the falcon? I think you're confusing with Hudson Hawk. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah, when Sonic is on the gurney on the highway <laughs> and fighting Hawk. enemies that are named after candy bars. Okay. <laughs> Gotcha. Oh, I do think I need to go in here and take a train to the boring, like, Mayan place. <laughs> that place oh, is the worst second Boring level. Mayan place zone. <laughs> <laughs> they have really weird translations for the for the names of these levels. Look <laughs> at that guy. Looks like a dynamic individual there. Joe Juba. <laughs> Joe Juba? This is, this is no frills subway zone. <laughs> They ran out of zones. More just, more just basic transportation for Sonic. He could have like rocketed through the sky in a Probably, series of. Springs. He's on a bus, just holding onto a thing <laughs> so he doesn't fall. Scratches his ass a little bit. <laughs> this place sucks. Yeah, yeah. This is where I stopped playing the XVLA, like new one. 
Yeah, talk uh, to that idiot. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna learn a lot. That's the spin dash button. Look Wait, at, that was talk before. Oh, it's talk and spin dash. That's intuitive. It's really embarrassing when you're trying to talk to a new person and you accidentally spin dash. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that in your interview? Yep. <laughs> That's weird. Right, right, Destroying right everything wall. on my desk. Yeah. Yeah. Start talking about Sega Master System and. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's a boss fight. That's right. Sweet. Yeah, what a weird choice for this game to begin with a boss battle, though. With, with that stupid thing. Well, it began with Dan's orgasmic whale thing. Dan's and made orgasmic him buy the game. Really? Whale. What? The thing orgasmic. that you said was like the greatest thing ever. The oh, best graphic. The, the dog. Oh. It was amazing. And that translates to orgasmic whale in your mind, Ryder? Oh, it sounded. Right. sounded What's right. not a Mega Man X5 villain? Orgasmic whale. <laughs> ba <-dum> banana. <laughs> ba <-dum> banana. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so so you're not gonna fight him here. No, I thought you did. I thought he flies over you. And you gotta jump. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go. Now, he sh shoots dumb things at you. In case you didn't know, the original concept for Doctor Robotnik, uh, and yes, his name is Doctor Robotnik, is it's Teddy Roosevelt in pajamas. Was the original concept? That's awesome. Art. Yeah, that's really cool. And he was uh, another proposed uh, mascot for Sega when they were pitching ideas for, and like Sonic came came to to be. But they liked him so much that they made him the enemy. Teddy Roosevelt. Egg. Pajamas. Hornet. Hornet's kind of a scary word, but egg really isn't. No, they kind of cancel each other out. Yeah. Alright. He's oh. gonna shoot a dumb thing, and he's gonna hover. Oh, oh, oh no, he drills. Get Screw in there. You. <laughs> oh! Look at that! Jesus I'm Christ! Pretty happy with myself about I thought that. You were gonna break the game. Mm. He did. Man, wow, that was a big middle finger to robot. Yeah, right it was. There. I got a hundred of those. Just go home. <laughs> this got to be an A. S. B minus. Did he not grade you? Wait, here it comes. <laughs> Just a faded image of Sonic in the background. Just like these days. No rating? Nope. Here we go. Wow, that's a really slow crash. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even slow no. motion, technically. It's like he's crashing in a hot so air balloon. I think you'd jump out at that point. Yeah, I feel like you'd see that on the side of the highway. Just. <laughs> that's his chaos swing <laughs> grabbing music. <laughs> Just crazy doors organ. <laughs> Actually, I don't think the doors ever played songs that even remotely nope. resembled this. Nope. Is he going to steal that from Robotnik now? Oh, once you steal something, you don't just stay there and hold it up in the air. <laughs> Whoops. It kind of overshot him. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, yeah. He turns into like a tyrant type thing. Was this part of his plan? Are they working together? Or did that guy actually steal it from I Robotnik? I think he's like a rogue thing. He might have been like an experiment gone wrong. It's, yeah, that's how this always goes. It's like Robotnik thinks he's got some new thing, and then it ends up working against him. Actually, I think that's just this game. <laughs> Why is Krang in his head? <laughs> it's a weird crossover. These bad guys really like just hanging around. I guess just standing there. What? There's a smoke bomb. Now, what did you guys think of Sonic? Did you even notice Sonic's redesign when you no, first saw it? No, not at all. I didn't, no. I didn't know until I started working with you that... If you would have told me, like, oh, green eyes, blue eyes, longer legs, or whatever horse crap they did to him, I, I never noticed until I worked with him. He never had blue eyes. Or right. he had black, black eyes, eyes, now he has green eyes. Yeah, I'll give yeah. you a black eye. Sorry. That was, I don't mean to lash out like that. <laughs> You're a violent man. Did you notice, Reiner? No, no. Same with Dan. Like, when you told me about it, I was like, dear God, this guy is nerdy. <laughs> So, does that make it a successful, like, redesign for a character, or is that an unsuccessful redesign? If you don't if, even I notice. don't even count it as one if no one noticed, like, if hardcore gamers don't notice it. Yeah, I want to know who over there was like, you know what? This character model's just not working with the black eyes. Right. Like, we gotta change that. Ugh. What am I supposed to do with this stupid thing? Um, that, like, opens up a, it's like a switch, I believe. See, here's where I get stuck. Where, where do I go from here? Just listen to the music. Let me oh, guide you. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Odaha. What's that? That's 
A life? Yeah, I think so. This is... And then these are the real memories of Sonic Adventure. Yes, Just exactly. Carrying around this weird, awkward egg thing and... No real direction. And it's not like we have no real direction because we're doing the Japanese version. Nope. It was not much more clear in the American one. Mm -mm. Do you want this? I will give this to you. <laughs> Please take this from me. <laughs> nope, okay. I'll do anything you want. I, I will be shocked if we figure out where to go next. I don't think we're gonna. I think this is it. I want to say you went deeper into the wilderness. You know... Like I, this is exactly what I expected out of a replay Both. of Sonic Adventure. Is just that one flashy intro level. Yeah, and drop then, in the water. Yeah. Game over. Down to Atlantis. <laughs> Bonus level. That'd be amazing. We discover a negative level down there. That'd be amazing. What? <laughs> oh, there's a train down there. No, it reset you. Okay. Well, I'd say the final verdict is that this game has not aged well, and. uh... Let's check out a, a replay roulette, guys. What do you say? Sure. I hated this game. Ryan, right. you know a little bit about this. Would you would you share a little bit of your insight with us? Terrible. Oh, okay. I think I it's like, like a, a half hour. If memory serves me correctly, I think it's like a survival horror type of game. Just poorly executed. Uh, controls, everything about it is just awful. And this might be a funny, uh, funny cutscene to watch here. We'll see. Oh, if I'm recalling the name right, is Climax responsible for Silent Hill Origins? Maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking so, but we'll, we'll look into it. This is the first game in the Call of Duty series. Oh, okay. This is the Genesis? Mm -hmm. I think we're going to go to the Panama Canal, maybe? Is this important? I think Ben was motioning for me to read. It's too late, man. I always get I always get super anxious about this when I start reading it. Like the first time I saw Star Wars in the theater, and I wasn't reading the scrolling text fast enough. Something about <laughs> dinosaurs, guys. All right. Ben's trying to communicate something to us. I mean, what did, what, they did? Do they did? Yep. Okay. Island great. looks like a cookie, like the one in Mega oh, Man yeah. Legends. But it's called Dinosaur Island. And it's going to be scary. So this is this has got cookie. some survival horror stuff going on, Reiner, that you remember? I believe so, yes. This, based off like the introduction so far and what I saw of the case, there is nothing even close to hinting that this game could be creepy. I could be crazy. Should I okay. skip this? No. Okay. Hey, Climax Graphics. I think that's where Orgasmic Whale worked. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, what, he was, was, still a what human. was the other? <laughs> what was the other one that we added to that group? Oh, uh, oh in the break, yeah. Impotence Pelican, I think. <laughs> Post traumatic toucan. There's some, there's some <laughs> cream on that cookie now. Orgasmic whale. All right, we're done with that, I think. Seasonal affective disorder albatross. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> he gets in the ice level. He just never. <laughs> Get one. Here we go. <laughs> Stuff's happening. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, you, what? that's not how you map things. <laughs> I'm a cartographer. <laughs> What's up, Elliot? Get some more map juice. Sometimes I don't understand what big wigs are thinking. I'm just a crew member of the supply ship. Heck, I don't even get permission to enter the residential district on the island. What the hell would I know about that? I like this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this, this, is a pretty fancy boat for just a crew this CG looks like it's for like a carpeting commercial, like a local <laughs> carpeting commercial. <laughs> I rented it from the Kimura Tech Group. What is he doing? Making a lady in a bottle. Oh, okay, with a turkey wishbone. Very good connections with him. He talked to them. I got the ship. Hey guys, remember visors? With one condition. Remember reboot? Because this yeah, looks like a reboot. It does look a lot like reboot if they were selling carpeting. <laughs> I'd I, watch don't, show. I don't think the composer synced up the music with this. Oh, no. <laughs> I and and no the audio idea. mixers didn't uh, exactly get the dialogue out. No. Nope. Spent a week to make that character model. <laughs> and then she just ended up in a bottle. I never heard about that. It's not that far. When you go sit in a chair over there, you're gonna fall off the damn boat. It's like Uncharted 2. <laughs> <laughs> Starts. Bang! My first vacation, I got 
You can, you can keep your precariously dangled train car. Look how they tried to shot Nathan they, Drake. I want two men on a boat <laughs> looking at maps and making models outside of an island, talking about the island, not visiting the island, talking about their access to the island. <laughs> Is this the golden eye set? Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was the same logo that was on their little skiff there. You're right, Reiner. This this score is totally phoned in. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. What is that? A Nephrim. It's a character from the Bottled Angel series. An angel of good luck. Right. It's a limited edition. Drink up. Limited edition in that. You hang this on you made it. Ship's bow for protection. <laughs> Pretty neat, huh? Yes. It's neat. It was an atom bomb. We should go check it out. It's probably not dangerous. Yeah, yeah so right to it. Let's get in there. Tim, start up the hey, the guy's name's Tim. Where to? The island, you <laughs> doofus. <laughs> island, idiot. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Well, what about my model drink? <laughs> Those jeans. They're like Grandpa Wranglers. <laughs> That'd be a weird occupation. Grandpa Wrangler? <laughs> yeah. <It'd> be easy. <laughs> really easy. Prunes. And this sticky. is leading to a box with a stick. And they pull it. A single. A single. A I sing got one. A single stair. Took him two hours to get here. <laughs> A uh -oh. slight incline. <laughs> like we got it, guys. Uh. <laughs> a lot of water in the last two games, and the color blue. Yeah. This is how what the TV show Lost happening? ended. <laughs> It'd be it's, better than how the show actually ended. It reminds me of, um, gosh, what's the name of the? Uh, oh, I'm blanking on the the place in in World of Warcraft, Dalaran. That has the giant bubble around it, and they can move the city of the with the wizards around, and it leaves like a big crater when they when they move in Azeroth. Nerd. Yes. Second time I've been called a nerd for having video game knowledge <laughs> during this uh, this replay. <laughs> Just gonna keep to myself. What's going on here? She's real. I'm a real girl. What is she doing? <laughs> She's making maps. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's how you map. Got my glue gun. Shoot it. <laughs> Tim. So the fairy's name is Tim. <laughs> there are some <laughs> who call me Tim. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. What is? He's gonna try to have. He's gonna shoot a that. flare into the fairy named Tim's face. Is there any <laughs> skipping this? He told me not to. Okay. Why would you want to at this point? You're right, we're kind of committed. A bunch of Metroid villains are coming. Yeah, right. First battle, you think? What is going on? Fire! This is an experience. This reminds me of when I saw... Private Ryan for the first time. Just this beach scene is just kind of coming in from the water and the music is just... It's kind of the beginning of Bioshock, really. Yeah, really. That's a good point. Once told me this guy emotes a lot, <laughs> physically. Look at this. Oh, he's like Barry Burton from Resident Evil. <laughs> going to the island? I am still a rescuer. There are people there who need help. <laughs> <laughs> Chris was our old partner, you know. Obviously, you're going to need good help, like me. I can't let a wimp like you go alone. Oh. Whatever. Whatever. Fight. The most cardboard, like this protagonist has the most vanilla voice I've ever heard. He just disappeared also. He went back inside. It's like that scene from Ace Ventura 2 where he goes inside, when Ace Ventura goes inside the rhinoceros. Oh, oh here you go. Hey, buddy, ready? Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, according to the manual, Elliot, <laughs> the main character of Blue Stinger, is part of the C-730 Battalion of ESER, a reserve organization specializing in sea disaster rescue. Oh. Hmm. He's a hot-blooded 28-year-old who loves his job and will help anyone in trouble. 
Sounds pretty hot blooded. Did you see that? I he love just... my job in helping everyone. I am also described as hot blooded. <laughs> That guy just popped up immediately. Like, he wasn't with me, and all of a sudden he was with me. And there's a monster chasing us, and we're probably going <laughs> to stare at Tim. Have you seen, have you played through Code Veronica? Have you seen the ending yeah. with the lady that transforms into, like, the butterfly thing? She looks exactly like that. Like the, uh, the weird fairy, Tim. Oh, God. She's People like are going to want to super replay this. This is pretty oh, good. Oh, gosh. We look like a Triceratops, maybe. Yeah, she looks exactly like that lady. Alexia, I think. Yeah, and she had a brother, right? Yeah, Alexia Early. Ashford and um, <clears throat> Alfred Ashford. That? That's right. How do you know its name? I'm not sure. That wiping sweat. I kind of love this game, man. Yeah, it is kind of cool. <laughs> I love that default camera view it starts with. And also, guys know where to be seen, but he'll pop up the second anything happens. God, stop being so hot-blooded for a second and play the game. <laughs> I bet every one of those guys in this game comes to life. <laughs> so, every one of them. Everyone? I'm going to go with every other. Oh, the old shuttle port. <laughs> Welcome in. <clears throat> it's hard to just run straight forward in this game. Is that the blue stinger? Yep, he's back. Oh, that is gross. What is it? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh, okay, now we got the rendered cutscene. Looks much better. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> so I was in a sniper position with your exposed thigh <laughs> up on the sill of the window there. <laughs> Sexy snipers yeah, always yeah, do it's that. like the red light oh, district shit. in Amsterdam or something. <laughs> they all have Janine. sniper rifles. That's Janine. A 24-year-old genius. Wind? Does his shirt just say wind? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as cool looking as when it's not a Japanese character. You can get away with that then. You're great. <laughs> If you're an ESO member, you'll definitely be ranked A+. Uh, you're wow. flattering me, but you won't get anywhere that way. You can get in here by taking the slope shuttle in front of you. If the shuttle is moving, that is. And forget it if you don't have an ID card. Wow, well, I'll find a corpse. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, f***ing dead bodies. <laughs> you tough girl. I like it, Janine. <laughs> This is gonna be a good Janine. day. My kind of girl, so stay away from her. <laughs> what? <laughs> but I want Look, my that's the default. Every time it comes out of a cutscene, it's just, just the front of his hair. Stupid bangs. <laughs> yeah. Stupid like uh, ten things I hate about you bangs. Or I'm trying to think of another late '90s comedy with stupid bangs. But then he also has like the neck bangs in the back, where it's yeah. not not quite a mullet. We will refer to them as neck bangs. No, it's not the time for shadow boxing. Boxing. Right. <laughs> I need a key. Need to find a corpse. Maybe that trash can. Don't even think about trying to get in here without an ID key, Dan. <laughs> what? Get down there. <laughs> Celebratory shadow boxing. <laughs> All right, we got to kill this kid before we end this. Okay. okay. Let's see if we can figure this out. Hang on. Is this a key card dispenser? Lab town. <laughs> That's where oh, all God. of the dead That's Labradors it. go. That was a weird route for me to take with that one. <laughs> I don't even know how to kill this guy. Did you try going to the lab town? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah, it said I don't have the key. Isn't that what they, the nickname for their uh, their lab in, in like CSI? I'm going to take this down to lab town. Run some tests in lab town. All this Sounds like, more CSI Miami. Maybe. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah, let this guy kill me. Because he's clearly East, going to get up. Thing. Oh, maybe you're right, Tim. No, you gotta run past him. Timmy, you might have been right. Yeah, every other one. Although the same one got up last time. Wouldn't that be amazing if we played the whole game and it was every other one? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All, right. all right, let him die. Eat it. <clears throat> no hassy for you. Is he even gonna hit you? Uh, I love this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> He's so passive aggressive. <laughs> I'm just gonna look down here. Where right. are you? Where did you go? <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> just give me one second. Is that you? <laughs> Hold on. He's probably blind. Look at him. Let me get a better angle. One second. Here we go. Yeah. Game over. Like Area 51 effects. Well, that was, that was Blue Stinger. <laughs> we all need to process what just happened. Thanks for watching replay. Goodbye.
Hey guys, mata sundir deh. I'm a real girl. <laughs>